PTA and MEG are derivatives of the oil and gas chain. These two substances are key components used in the manufacturing of PET resin. Through the chemical process, we produce our own feedstock for PET. PTA looks like a fine white powder and MEG looks like a clear liquid. The feedstock, PTA and MEG, must pass through the quality control before being used in the production process. This is to assure the quality of PET products. PTA and MEG are transferred from trucks and kept in a tank farm. Every step of the process is a closed system and controlled from a modern operating room. Then, the two substances are blended together in a tank called paste preparation. More chemical substances, catalysts and toner are added. After that, the blended material is put into a chemical reaction tank. This process is called esterification. The materials are put into a tank that controls the pressure and heat and then mixed together. The result is sent to another tank for pre-polycondensation. In this process, the temperature is controlled and stirring takes place in vacuum. After that, the resulting pre-polymer is transferred into the final polycondensation tank. In order to complete the PET structure and to increase the level of intrinsic viscosity or IV, the PET takes the form of a hot clear liquid and is soaked in water in order to reduce the heat and become solid. The solid PET is cut into small pieces. Then, air is blown over the PET to separate from water. The plastic resin produced from this process is called amorphous PET. The quality of amorphous PET is then checked again in order to assure that our product meets international standards. In order to be used in bottle production, the resin is passed to the next process called solid state polymerization or SSP. This is to strengthen the level of IV and lessen the level of acetaldehyde or AA in PET before use. The amorphous PET is then transferred into a pre-crystallization tank to remove dust and moisture and to crystallize by blowing hot nitrogen over it. Amorphous PET is agitated so that it does not agglomerate. This also helps to prepare it for crystallization. After that, the amorphous PET is transferred into a crystallization tank and heated by hot nitrogen to increase the crystallization. Some of the PET resins that are crystallized are transferred to a post-condensation tank to complete the crystallization process. This makes it more solid and increases the level of IV. After the crystallization process, the resin is passed to a fluidized bed cooler tank to remove dust and moisture by blowing nitrogen over it and passed to the packaging process. The quality of the PET resin is checked again for the last time in order to assure that its quality meets the highest standards. After the crystallization process, the PET resins used for bottle production look milky white. But after production, the color of the bottle is again transparent. After the quality check, the resin are transferred to a silo and later packed in bags ready for delivery. Polyethylene terephthalate or PET is one kind of the important plastic resins. PET is used for the packaging of food and beverages, household goods, pharmaceutical products, consumer products, as well as various types of industrial products. PET can be used to replace aluminum, PVC, and glass. PET is the best material for food and beverage packaging. It is low priced and can be recycled. This raw material is suitable and environmental friendly. This is why PET is recognized and used. Yarns are made from PET raisins. The raisins are put through a drying process. After that, the dried PET raisins are transferred to melt at 285 degrees Celsius. The result is put in a container called a spinneret and forced through tiny holes to form fibers. Then, it is quickly cooled down. The tiny fibers are combined into a single yarn. Then, the yarn is spun and stretched rapidly before being rolled into a tube. The result of yarn in this process is called POY. The yarn is not yet stable and still about to get stretched. The basic quality of POY yarn is checked. 
The quality control of the POY yarn is conducted one more time in the lab to check its feature and weight. After the quality check, the POY yarn is passed either to packaging process ready for delivery or to a stretching process to make it stable, ready to use. The POY yarn is stretched and twisted several times passing through heat so that the yarn is steady. Then, before being rolled into a tube, the POY yarn is coated by oil in order to prevent dryness, cracking, and static electricity. The result of the yarn which passes the stretching and twisting process is called Draw Textured Yarn or DTY. DTY can be used as material to produce as many kinds of products. DTY yarn undergoes quality control in the laboratory, which also checks its staining properties when woven. After that, the yarn is packed, ready for delivery. Polyester fibers are made from melted PET resins that go through an injection process to form fibers. Fibers are quickly cooled and combined together in a flattened form. Then, the fibers are stretched out and transferred into a tank. The fibers in each tank are combined together again in a flattened form. The flattened fibers are stretched at high temperatures several times in order to form a stable structure. The result is coated with oil in order to maintain a standard quality. After coating, the fibers are sent into a crimping machine in order to make the fibers stick together similar to cotton. The crimped fibers are then dried and are sent to a spinning machine. They are cut and become frizzy. The fibers are passed into the packaging process as a block before sending to customers. Polyester fibers and yarns are one of the main materials used in the production of everyday used products such as clothing and shoes. They can also be made into other fabrics with special properties such as fire retardant fabrics and home furnishing.